With the current climate of interest rates rising, is right now a good time to buy a home? Are we going to experience the same sort of crash that we did back in 2008? Well, I hope to alleviate some of your fears if you've been having some of those questions. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Carrie Sells the City in Keller Williams. Making sure that my clients have the best advice possible is so important to me in a transaction, empowering them to make sure that they are making the best decisions for their future. Having a good lender is also a big piece of that puzzle. If you've been stressed out about jumping into the housing market with interest rates rising like they have been, I want to be able to alleviate some of your fears about whether you should or should not get into the market. Demand for housing is going to remain high. According to Freddie Mac, we need 3.8 million homes available to meet the current demand. And never in a year has there been more than 2 million homes available along with the fact that during COVID, the construction industry got delayed by about six months of building homes, plus the shortage of building materials and the expense of building materials, and then you also have a backlog on appliances because of the chip shortages that are coming in for electronics. So we already have a very high demand with a short supply. Another factor to add in to high demand for housing is that the median age of the first time home buyer is the age of 33. And if you look back to 1989 and the years around that, there was a baby boom. So here over the next five years, we have a high increase of 33 year olds that are going to be ready to jump into the market as first time home buyers. So now when we talk about appreciation, Home values have appreciated in every recession since the 1960s, except for the housing bubble burst in 2008. And that bubble burst is what caused our recession. The reason why that happened is that home loans were being given on stated income, not verified income. And it was also due to predatory lenders that were giving unscrupulous loan products, like interest-only loans, or loans that had big balloon payments that helped create that crash in 2008. Add that into the fact that we had way more inventory at that time than we do now, you have the exact opposite scenario of what we find ourselves in today. All of the top economists here in the Northwest agree that homes are going to continue to appreciate. So with the low supply and the high demand, if you are deciding to wait to buy your home, you are going to end up paying more. Yes, interest rates have risen from the historically low rates that we have never seen before over the last year and a half to two years. And with that, the buyer pool may thin out a little bit. It may give you a better opportunity to buy a home considering it might not be quite as competitive. If you still have the ability to get your foot in the door and start building your wealth and paying yourself, get in while you can. With rates getting higher, you wanna make sure you're not spending your money on points or buying your rate down or paying off the PMI and work with a lender that can help you look at your long-term debt and ensure that you're making the right decisions. You'll be able to refinance again in anywhere from 12 to 24 months they are projecting where interest rates will come back down to what we did see them earlier in the year. If you feel that your lender isn't helping inform you on your choices and what the best long-term debt solution will be for you when you buy a home, make sure you find someone who will. If you need help, you can reach out to Keelan Harvey, my main guy over at Highlands Residential. He is amazing and a wealth of knowledge and will ensure that you are empowered with as much information as you can get. You can reach out to Keelan or to me directly. Mm -hmm.